What up, dudes? It's Gaz, and welcome back to the Warframe video. So, we got this week in Warframe going with the entire weekly reset. And now that all the Incarnons are out, I'm just going to be showing you which Incarnons are available this week. And we'll I'll just link you to the previous tier list video if you want to see what's going on with those. Before we get into it, make sure you're checking out the live stream channel. We'll be live really soon after this, doing the Nightwave weekly reset. And maybe getting some Incarnons tonight, too, since they're all... You know, there's no new ones now. It's not as, you know, important. So let's just get started with the actual, some actual news. So DE did say that Seven Crimes of Kalerva, there will be no hot fixes until that comes out. So I'm expecting it either this week or next week on all platforms. They update with a new frame, some Daviri changes, some new decrees, etc., etc. As far as the first weekly reset item here, we have 30,000 Endo at Teshin for 150 Steel Essence. Would not recommend this at all. It is not worth that Steel Essence. Because uh, that's, that's a good amount of Steel Essence, honestly. All right, moving on to the Archon Hunt and the Incarnate Unlockers. Uh, so the, the thing about this is, like I said, we already know what every Incarnate Unlocker is. And if you don't have access to Steel Path, you cannot get this stuff. So just keep that in mind. These, the things I'm showing you right now are not for everyone. These are late game weekly reset things. As my ship takes a very long time to fly back to the orbiter. Would you look at that? 960 endo. Here, okay, so as far as the Archon Hunt, we have the Amber Archon Shard. Okay, so this is going to give you some casting speed and things of that nature. The mission types are Mobile Defense, Disruption, and the final boss fight against the Archon. Remember, for Disruption, these enemies are considered uh, Narmer, not Corpus or Grenier. So your Bane mods should not work on them. I'm not sure if the Sentient mods work on them. There are Sentient enemies in there that should it should work on. Okay, and as far as your Incarnons for this week, make sure we're on the Steel Path so we can show. Alright, so for your Steel Path Incarnon weapons this week... Did it not rotate over? Why can I pick the Despair and the Dread and the Siberian and all this again? Well, I'm picking the Hate and the Dread. Uh, I think it was supposed to rotate over, but... Okay. Sure. Well, it's supposed to be the Week 1 stuff, but the Week uh, 6 stuff is still here. Uh, that is definitely weird. I don't know if I just bugged it out, but there you go. As far as your uh, frames you can choose from the circuit, you got Hydroid, Mirage, and Limbo. The Mirage Helmet ability uh, is pretty good. The Eclipse, so I'd say maybe go for Mirage here. Uh, but you can also technically go for Limbo because his quest is not really everyone's favorite. And you get some okay stuff it looks like here too. I'm kind of weirded out by that Incarnon thing. Do I, I guess I'm going to have the Hate, Dread, and Despair now. So I, I guess look out for the full Stalker weapon video later this week. Hey, don't take that back, DE. I want to keep that. Uh, as far as your uh, call missions and all that... We have the Crimson Archon Shard uh, from Chipper, which is going to give you increased power strength and stuff. And then for Call, we got Prison Break, my favorite pastime. It's, it seriously brings me great nostalgia to run this mission for like the 50th time, uh, even though it was used as the intro quest too for this stuff. Uh, for Challenges, we got Deathless, complete the mission without dying or becoming veiled. Bomb run, get five kills with grenades while flying, just to make it more annoying. Uh, remove five veils using the Veil Breaker. Find and open three hidden caches. This one's so annoying on this map because this is a gigantic map. Uh, find calls missing floof just because, you know, like I said, it's annoying to find stuff here. Let's make it even more annoying. And then call, kill, quick, get five kills within five seconds. There's a couple spots you could get this done in, but yeah, this is a pretty annoying week. Don't feel bad about actually skipping the challenges uh, besides, like, try not to die, hopefully. <laughs> All right, so that's going to be your call mission and your your uh, Archon Shard. Now let's look at the Nightwave Weekly Resets. Now, if you've been doing all your challenges, you're almost going to have this first augment mod for the Akia Core, which I'll have a video out later in the week when I get the, I could probably technically have it out, like, tomorrow if I do all these challenges. But let's see what we got here. All right, for our first normal weekly, destroy a cruise ship with the forward artillery. That's the big cannon thing on the front. I believe you... I don't know if you still need it. You still have to have, like, gunner level 4 or something to use this, but I feel like they might have taken it away. Now you can just use it at any level. But either way, destroy one cruise ship, uh, shoot it in the jet, and it will be a pretty much guaranteed one-shot kill. Complete three different K-Drive races in the Orb Valis. Ha <laughs> no. Uh, complete ten different Syndicate missions. So you only get like a couple of... Uh, you only get like five of them per day, I want to say. And these do not reset at the same time as the normal daily reset stuff. They, they reset like the middle of the day at like noon. Same time as Sorties, I believe. So there you go. I think you can go with your teammates to their missions too, and that should count. But yeah, 
is pretty much a bottlenecked one. Complete Isolation Vault Bounty in the Cambian Drift on Dimos. So that's not going to be the subterranean bounties. Uh, it's these are the ones that are going to give you. Um, you get them from the mother NPC, and it'll like you'll fight a necromech in there. It's not the ones where it's like you get those weird random arcanes, and it's like you're pretty much underground the whole time. It, there's two different types of underground bounties. This is the one you get from mother and kill a necromech. Catch six rare servo fish in the Orvalis. Pretty easy with that shock stunning spear. Kill a thousand enemies on the steel path. Well, we'll see how these uh, dread and hate incarnons end up going. And then collect 20 different uh, types of resources. So as long as you go on a good variety of plants, that one should be no problem at all. Okay, uh, as far as our night waves, I'm actually super excited. I got the dread and the hate. I am definitely going to grind those out tonight. I was I was seriously not going to grind out the incarnons like tonight at all. Because I'm like, oh, it's just going to be like the kunai and the skana. And I don't really care. But hey, it bugged out for me. I'll take the dread and the hate. Those ones sound pretty good, actually. All right, we got helmets here. Um, of course, it's going to be up to your personal preference if you like any of this stuff. Uh, some of these build requirements are a little bit rough. Like the Caliban one, I remember that's taking anomaly shards. Yeah, anomaly shards to build that. Come on, man. Uh, we got the... For aura mods, we got EMP aura, enemy radar, physique, and shotgun scavenger. I'd say get uh, enemy radar and the other ones, kind of like whatever, honestly. Uh, enemy radar is nice for like knowing where enemies are, to shoot them through walls with AoE. Also can help for certain other things you're trying to find. Like For animal hunting, this can be very nice too because it marks animals on the map for like the uh, conservation or whatever. For mastery fodder, we got the... Glaive Normal, the Dark Dagger, and the Pangolin Sword Blueprint. I usually say this, if you're looking for a decent stat stick, the Pangolin Normal and Pangolin Prime, you can have one ribbon for a good DPS sword with the Pangolin Prime, and the Pangolin Normal has really low stats, but is a good stat stick because the ribbon stats go up on its weaker version. So you can have one ribbon for a good sword and a stat stick sword. So you could potentially pick this up if you want to. And as far as uh, PvP augments, we got Skull Shots for the Viper, Focus Acceleration for the Tetra, and Prism Guard for Mirage. Prism Guard for Mirage is pretty good. I recommend picking it up if you have not already. That's going to be your Night Wave. And yeah, this is going to be uh, interesting. I don't know if everyone else in the game has their uh, their Incarnons bugged out like I do, but yeah, I was in... So basically, I was in Teshin's little room when the daily reset happened, so I'm wondering if that had anything to do with it. All right, so as far as Invigorations, let's see what we got here. And of course, as far as news this week, like I said... I, I am actually expecting Seven Crimes of Colervo this week. So if we get Seven Crimes of Colervo next week, like in two, basically two weeks from right now, sure. But I am expecting it this week personally. All right, for Invigorations, we, we have uh, three different frames here. And if you want to get access to these, get rank five with the Dimos Necrolisk Syndicate and talk to the Sen, Sun NPC. Uh, for Ryan, I got 200% melee crit chance increase and 200 energy max. That's pretty good. Whoa, look at this Mirage one. Speaking of Prism Guard, I've got 200% primary crit chance and 75% ability efficiency. Ability efficiency doesn't really help that much, but hey, I can just run a maxed out blind rage and not care about streamline or anything like that, so that's pretty cool. And for Necros, we got melee damage and reload speed. Those are two things I like on Necros, so hey, works with me. Three good invigorations. So I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. I will see you on stream very soon. Maybe, let me go, okay, now that, the, now that we're done going over the weekly reset stuff, just before. Let me make sure that it didn't, like, unbug or anything like that and is making me have to reselect my Incarnons because I found that very strange. Better grind them up before DE resets it or something. No, there will be no hotfix in uh, Seven Primes of Kalervo, so... I should be safe. Yep, I still got my Hate and my Dread Incarnons. All right, cool. Better grind it out fast. All right, guys. I got good Arcanes this week, too. Nice. Uh, Arcane Reaper, Fucking Vendetta, and Longbow Sharpshot. I'll see you guys very soon. Appreciate the support. Take it easy. Peace.